So, hello everyone. This is me, Adnan Gauri, the founder and director of Pivot Station. I welcome you all for the online BIM series week four by Mustafa. So, Mustafa is a structural engineer, BIM manager, and he is also an author of five volumes of book of Tecla Structure. He is a specialist in BIM Tecla Structure, project manager, project scheduler, project risk manager. cost manager designer of executive plans project supply chain manager executive director of construction mustafa is also a member of american society of civil engineers bim community house of penmen iranian writers association iranian expert iran talent and society of civil engineers so i would like to welcome mustafa larijani for today's session hello mustafa thank you adnan Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to online BIM series. At this part, I want to talk about BIM and workflow in BIM with Tecla structures and uh, review a BIM model. In both camp, I was talking about BIM and uh, BIM benefits, history, and how to use BIM. Uh, in both camp, I was talking about scenarios in Tecla. After the risk management, uh, we will. choose a correct workflow to doing our projects i was talked about risk management and uh, different scenarios in tecla now at first step i want to talk about beam workflow in tecla structure first phase is analyzes projects it include system requirements and process requirements phase 2 is development it's include data migration phase 3 is testing and training it's include mock testing resolve problems and end user training phase 4 is documentation it's include finalize review and acceptance phase 5 is project go live and post go live all of these steps is depends on risk management and when you do these steps correctly you can go to next step and start modeling with tecla structure it's our steps in uh, scenarios in tecla in structural field it's a step by step modeling reports executive plans or executive drawings arrangement of parts transportation management and sequence of installing parts phase projects project management at uh, at the end of them is a show at a specific time zones also all of them is a parts of our, our educational field our course in tecla and uh, our educational is with three version of tecla 19 21 and version 2000 uh, 2030 now i want to show you a real beam model in tecla structure these steps it's a modeling in tecla a structural model a structural steel construction first step was modeling and our modeling in tecla is we are or visual reality we say our modeling is visual reality our means that uh, we should include all of our details in our modeling for example just like this different parts with uh, their name their profile their materials or uh, their class or different um, options and uh, different details and uh, for example uh, we have different information about different parts as a uh, bolts and washers for example bolt size bolt standard bolt pipe and the washer type and washer standards 
or even we have different information about our results in our projects. Just like this. <coughs> you can see the detail of your wells in project, your wells perfect, size, kinds of your <coughs> kinds of your wells, your angle, and different information about your electorate and different. And even we can model different type of cut parts. For example, according to um, available parts in our construction company. All of them was a, a thing, but in Tecla, we should show our assemblies, just like this. These assemblies, correct concrete in, um, sorry, um, these assemblies should carry to our construction site plan. And for each one, we have different information about their names and different workflow. For example, design, fabrication, erection, and um, for example, different commands, uh, comments for your parts. Next step is reports. For example, we can use and we can select different kinds of reports for our projects, for the design, for the erection, IFC erection, assembly part list, assembly list, or uh, even for our bolts, our wells, and different, different kinds of um, materials and uh, different details that we have in our model. Just like this, for example, for concrete structure, uh, rebars or different and all of these reports can be created for uh, selected parts just like this or all of your projects for example here I have some reports just like this assembly part list or assembly part list. Different assembly include different single parts, for example, different grade profile widths. And at the end of this, you can see your total weights for your projects, for different parts or for all of your projects. For example, another kind is bolt list. It's our bolt list with different standards, and uh, you can show that uh, your bolt should be assembled in your site or um, in different place. You can uh, show there, and your bolt number, bolt uh, quantity, and even we have weld list for different parts, for different assembly. You have well list and uh, well reports. Next step is executive drawing. We have different kinds of drawing for Tecla structure. For example, single part drawing, cast unit for <coughs> concrete construction, multi-drawing, or general arrangements. You can use your own method for your drawing. For example, it's my method for drawing, that everyone know my method and my style. For example, uh, I like to use 3D modeling in, uh, for example, my drawings and includes uh, different single parts and uh, for example, different sides of my columns, and all of this style. For example, uh, you know uh, the weights of your assembly, the quantity, and uh, the phase. 
this this drawing is automated. For example, you can use a different um, method for a prepared drawing. You can use clone drawing and use different kinds of uh, different kinds of columns or beams as your personal style. And for example. For one columns, for example, for this column, if I change one part, automatically my drawing will be changed. And uh, for example, uh, look at here for different kinds of beam. For example, another kind of beam. You can build your own style. And uh, for all of these parts, is automatically know your parts style. For example, you can use assembly position, part position, profile, materials, or different. And uh, the next one is general arrangement drawing. For example, here. I was prepared this uh, drawing for showing my columns and different view. Next step is arrangement of parts and transportation management. Each part in Tecla has special width, lengths, and uh, weights. And for example, when you want to carry them, The next one is sequence of installing parts. When we are talking about building information, it's our means. For each part, we have a special information. For example, just like this, for single parts, ID, type, assembly phase, part phase, start point, end point, center of gravity, top level, bottom level, and here with volume, area, name, material, profile, and their friends. And also for assembly, we have different parts that make this assembly, that build this assembly, and our wills for this assembly. And also for each part, we have this information. It's very important for us. For example, look at here. This assembly was included in truck one. In Persian date, it's the date that uh, this truck starts and go to projects. And it's the first assembly that uh, carry with this truck. And also we have planet start erection and planet start, planet end erection, honor guide number and different things. Also we can use this information for our workflow. Design, fabrication, erection and use different dates and use different commands and different things for our information. Next one is project phase. It's our project phase. We can manage our project in different phase, for example, for each track, for each uh, columns, for each parts, we can use 
different part, uh, different phase. Next one is project management. Or in tech law, we say project management as task manager. For example, tech law asks you uh, about planet start date and planet end date. According to your plan, tech law uh, gives your project process. And tech law asks you about actual start date and actual end date. And according to this page, you can guess or you can see your actual process speed. And according to this, you can understand or you can now when your project will be done. And you can see your projects here. Also, you can manage and you can define different scenarios for your products according to your risk management. When you, you, when you do this step as well, you can show your project process at a specific time zone. For example, you can use different days and different dates for uh, see your projects. And at the end of them, we have organizer for manage our different parts of project and uh, for manage our materials. Here is organizer. You can manage your projects as a different type, for example, different plates or different name, or even step-by-step step, you can manage and you can see your projects or uh, get reports. Uh, it was a BIM model in Tecla, but uh, with IFC, uh, we can mix different type of BIM, for example, uh, structural, electrical, architectural, or mechanical, and show a um, uh, correct model with all details in Tecla, It's a demo project for Trimble Company, and it's Tecla Beam site that includes all of the details about your project. It includes all of information about your project. And even, for example, uh, CIP or MEP, elevation grade, Rebar Foundation or Supplier, Critical Clash for different parts. And for example, for MEP Clash, and you can use your revision, just like this. And at the end of them, you can see your project as a visual reality. Uh, Again, I should say that it's the demo project. It's not complete. You can see all of your details about your projects and all of your clash about uh, structural, mechanical, or electrical, or architectural. And uh, you can change your plan. You can uh, use different scenarios for your projects, just like this. So, hello everyone, we join back again. So is there any questions from all of you? You can ask here in 
and or type in the chat box. So there was one question from Palak Rai. Can you hear me, Mustafa? Yes. Okay. So her question is: How does Tecla designer differ from a Tecla dictator? Uh, no, no, I can't hear your voice correctly. Okay. The Who's question, talking, Chapter? The question is: How Tecla designer differs from Tecla detailer? Uh, I just ask a question. Is Tecla structure used a model used to model in uh, elements like braids? Yes, you can use uh, Tecla for different kinds of construction. In a BIM boot camp, I was talked about it. For example, here, uh, BIM boot camp. For example, we can model different kinds of construction in Tecla, different kinds. Yes, we can model post tension cable. And uh, in newer version, for example, in 2018, we have different elements, uh, just like uh, tension cables in Tecla. And uh, for example, here, for different profiles, you can use um, different kinds of profiles for your projects, even, uh, for example, for uh, tension cobs and different things. It was available in Tecla. Yes, there's one more question like, is the contour data can be imported in Tecla structures? Contour data can be imported. Uh, Tecla um, is very uh, good program, uh, program for uh, different kinds of uh, applications for import and export. And for example, you can use different kinds of IFC uh, formats for changing to different programs. This is the optimization currently. I don't see uh, optimization for Tecla. Construction can be designed, yes. For example, it's an concrete project. Even you can model uh, wooden projects in Tecla or free, uh, prefabrication. It's not important for Tecla. So there's one more question like, how is the interoperability between Tecla and Revit? Uh, wait one minute. It's concrete construction. Tecla with all details, for example. It's just column, it's big. Even you can use Tecla for modeling uh, CFT structure, concrete field tube. Okay. Uh, so there's a question from Fazan Sheikh Mushtaba. Can we convert yeah. already model structure from Revit Tecla. Can we convert our already model structure from ready to Tecla? Yeah. Yes, with IFC, with IFC, you can, for example, import uh, projects uh, from um, ETAPS, uh, uh, ETAPS, for example, SAP, Revit, mm -hmm. and different application to uh, Tecla, or even export from Tecla. Okay. Is the term Tecla better than ETAPS or RCC design? Tecla is not designer. Uh, if you want to, uh, for example, be a designer, you should use Tecla a structural designer. It works with um, ETAPS. But in uh, Tecla structure, also you can model, for example, different 
loads for your project and get a um, export to your ETAPS. For example, here. Is loads. And also, you can use your projects. Mustafa, we cannot see your screen. If, if, if you are trying to explain it from your screen, we cannot see it. Can you share it? Oh, sorry. Can you see my screen now? Yes, we can see your screen now. Okay. Uh, in Tecla, Analyze and Designs uh, model, you can use different uh, applications, for example, SAP or ETAPS, for use for calculation and analyze your project. And uh, it's a concrete uh, project with all details. and uh, all information about hooks, hooks and uh, reinforcement bars. It's concrete project. Yes, so uh, there's one more question from Kunal Chaudhary Mushtaba. Uh, standard specifications in Tecla? And are there any differences for it? Oh, wait, Adnan, I should find this page. Sure. Okay, we can convert a uh, already modeled structure from Revit to Tecla, yes. With IFC formats, you can use import and export with different types. For example, with IFC, uh, you can change them or even you can uh, use directly uh, for Tecla Structural Designer or Tecla Beam Site. Standard specification. Uh, at first time that you start your Tecla just like this. Tecla, ask your environment. This environment have different standards for your areas. But uh, for example, I don't install all environments uh, in my laptops. Uh, for example, I don't know I have uh, Tecla in my laptops or not. Uh, you can use, for example, India. It include your profiles, um, name your materials name that you use in your country and different standards. Uh, it depends on uh, uh, your environment that you installed on your Tecla. Tecla used uh, 33 kinds of environments for different country. But unfortunately, according to um, Iranian sanction, uh, they don't have um, Persian or Iranian standards, and I should use uh, default for my projects. Uh, most of us, there's one question from me, like how the people working on a given project can collaborate in the cloud environment? Is it possible with the Tecla website and how? For, uh, for example, uh, changing this uh, project to Tecla Beam site. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, in Tecla Beam site, you can directly open your project, your Tecla projects, or even you can directly use this icon, publish to the Tecla Beam site, or even import Tecla Beam site model. And even in Tecla Beam site, you can import different model from different application just like Revit and also uh, move them to your Tecla structure to work on them or uh, for example for different revision and uh, for example for shop drawing for uh, risk management and different things. Um, it include different application for example uh, Tecla can work as a advanced still as an MSP as a uh, different application. Coordination can be set like Revit, yes. Uh, coordination, um, 
I'm not a specialist in Revit, but um, I cannot compare different application. But for example, when I, um, I'm talking with my friends that they are specialists in different applications uh, in Revit, uh, we can say that Tecla uh, in structural field is uh, so stronger than Revit, but um, Tecla uh, is not good application for MEP or for mechanical uh, modeling or we cannot say anything in architectural uh, project based points another question okay uh, opportunities in Tecla yes uh, because uh, for example if you learn Tecla as you know you can uh, say I'm specialist in uh, I think 12 fields of uh, for example uh, construction management risk management and different field if you uh, check in uh, LinkedIn, uh, your job offers in LinkedIn, um, you can find the good jobs and you can earn a good money because uh, I think the most expensive uh, field of construction is a structure. And when you save your customers money, uh, you can earn a good money from there. For example, in different country, uh, it's different. For example, uh, I know in uh, India, uh, you cannot find a Tecla, uh, Tecla structural specialist, or even in different country, just like uh, Canada and um, America, because they are working with uh, rabbits. For example, if you want to learn all of this, uh, uh, for example, manager, uh, with Revit, you should buy, uh, I think, eight application, uh, advanced steel, take that strike, um, uh, Revit, structural, and uh, Navisborg, and different. Right, absolutely. Don't using Tecla. Uh, you can follow um, Tecla's web page in. Um, website, Tecla's website, or even in LinkedIn, Tecla uh, to reward I think for seven years or six years as the best application for uh, using Beam. And uh, we can search it, for example, different projects with Tecla. There are different projects in Tecla and uh, you can find it in internet. It's in Tecla. Right. Can you also tell us about the projects that you have done using Tecla, Mustafa? Um, I have different projects. For example, this project is near uh, Caspian Sea in Iran. I don't have uh, different projects in my laptops, but uh, for example, it's uh, a project that if you go out, you should start it in Dubai. And for example, for example, these kinds of projects that uh, they are uh, simple project, Tecla, the different details. And also, for example, it's Art University in Iran. in Birgen city, the different parts and different uh, risk management uh, icing for this project. We define um, 22 uh, scenarios for projects. And another project, Uh, 
It's in uh, Asaluye in Persian uh, uh, Persian Sea. It's pet petroleum with all of details. Um, Adam, please answer these questions. Yeah. About uh, our course. Yeah, there's one question from Faizan. Is there any courses related to Tecla by you, sir? Adnan, you should answer this question. Okay. Uh, when we can start this course. So, th there's one uh, course that uh, we had uh, planned out with uh, Mustafa and Mustafa can give you a detail about it. It's uh, like 20-25 hours of online training and it will help you deliver a one life project with Mustafa. So Mustafa, can you just brief about like what, what will be the learning outcomes and the objectives of the course will be? Uh, in our course, I will teach all of these parts and all of this management that uh, I talked about them today or in our uh, boot camp. Uh, this course will be 20 until 25 hours and uh, it should be uh, project based and uh, we do three projects in this course. Okay. Uh, two project is steel projects and one project is uh, concrete projects with different kinds for example for uh, with custom components, uh, different components, uh, and uh, import and export to different applications, different management type, uh, risk manager, and different things. Uh, there's one more question from... It's not calculator. Right. Take law structure is not calculator. But uh, for calculation, you can use uh, Tecla Structural Designer, its application. Okay. Like, can we design scaffolding by the software? Mustafa, can you hear me? Yes. There's one question like, can we design scaffolding by the software? Yes, we cannot calculate, but we can model, just we can model. Okay. For example, wait. The client is just modeling software. Tecla designer is a different one and Tecla structure is basically for the modeling, right? Yeah. For example, we can use different. I should use uh, For example, for different formwork, we can use different components. In Tecla, we have uh, different components. Also, you can download different components from uh, Tecla warehouse, from Tecla sites, and use in your projects. Just like this. Is the column formwork that we can create on the models? 
Yeah. Can we also take out the quantities of these different uh, components we model in the tech lab? Uh, for concrete or uh, which one? Concrete. For concrete, most of them. Yeah. For example, uh, we have different kinds of uh, components. Mm -hmm. It's all of components. Uh, according to concrete, cast in place or precast. For example, pad footing or different kinds, frame structure. Uh, it's for example, it's a uh, rebar coupler. It's for um, splicing tools in Tecla. It's for mesh, stair, different kinds of stair. And also you can search, for example. It's different components for stair. In your projects, spiral stair or stair base detail, stair detail. Right. Question. Yes, um, I told you in these parts. Reports. We can calculate weight uh, weight of materials in Tecla. And also, you can change the, uh, for example, I should open this project again. I was told you, you can, for example, use different kinds of reports for Tecla. You can calculate different parts or even different assemblies with Tecla. I will show you here different report tempo. For example, for rebar, for uh, material parts. For example, for this assembly part list. These parts include this assembly with this weight, and this assembly's weight is here. And also, I want to say an example for you. For example, for concrete, it's concrete column, and uh, in inquire, you know the cast unit weight. Cast unit weight means the concrete plus uh, your uh, armature, your reinforcement. But if we add reinforcement to this, uh. just like this. Mm -hmm. And again, inquire, cast units, cast unit weight, and reinforcing weight. And also you can calculate the exact 
concrete weight that you need for these parts. Yes, Nagaraju, we can hear you. You can ask. Yeah. Uh, hi, Adnan. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Nagaraju. Yeah, can we get that uh, total weight of the concrete in the Tecla? Yeah, for different, I told you, for different projects, we can use different kinds of reports for Tecla. Also for here, mm -hmm. for example, we can use test units. Okay. Test units, for example, list, test unit, part list and different types uh, or even material reports for engineering. Uh -huh. Just like this. Okay. You can use different kinds of uh, reports for your projects. Yeah, and I have one more concern regarding the uh, shape codes of the reinforcement. Um, I can understand shape codes. Uh, I mean, uh, rain, uh, rebar shape codes. Let's say shape code 98, shape code 14, 32, like this for the stirrups. Uh, your means is a uh, rebar size? Rebar. Yes, rebar standard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, if you change your rebar size, also the Tecla, change your details mm -hmm. here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm the, asking about the yeah. code of that uh, rebar. I mean, uh, bar bending schedule. Can we get it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, look at here, for example, for these reports, mm -hmm. for reinforcing, quantity okay. takeoff, or for example, uh, bending list or different kinds. Uh -huh. Can you do <coughs> This. Wait, I should use another project. And uh, I have the one more very uh, interesting question regarding the interoperability of that uh, Revit to Tecla. Let's say, for example, I have done the modeling in Tecla, whether it is steel or maybe RCC. Can we export into the Tecla to get the exactly properties like uh, uh, how we are getting in the Tecla? So can we get in the Revit? Um, I told you, uh, the IFC industry is here for use this information to change different application, for example, for uh, change Revit to Tecla, you can use the, the IFC uh -huh. for, formats. That's fine. I will use the IFC. Can it read it as a component or it is uh, just to show as a 3D solid model? Um, if you use uh, IFC, it show you uh -huh. as a component, as a one uh, completed model. but uh, in Tecla, you can use this icon and uh, convert IFC object to native object to use it as a native object that, uh, for example, you model it in Tecla. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm asking more questions. <laughs> so, any more questions from uh, the participants? So, okay then. Uh, it was a very nice uh, session with you, Mustafa, today. It's, it's really You're nice welcome. to have you with us. 
So thank you all of you. You can conclude the session, Mustafa. Thank you. You are welcome. welcome. Have a good times. Thank you. You are welcome.